Now let's see a C program to convert binary to decimal number. So here the input is binary number which is a combination of uh, two bits such as zeros and ones whereas the output is decimal number. Decimal number is a combination of uh, 10 digits from 0 to 9. Uh, let's take an example first and then we will see the program. Let me have a binary number like this 101101. So now we have to convert this binary number into the decimal number. So for that on top or for that here we have to multiply the corresponding bit, bit with uh, the powers of 2. So here this one is called as uh, uh, most significant bit. Whereas the last one is called as least significant bit. So this bit is most significant bit. Whereas this bit is least significant bit. So here we have to start always from the least significant bit. So here on top of the one we have to write the weight as 2 power 0. Next we have to continue towards the MSP. So next on top of 0 2 power 1 on top of 1 2 power 2 on top of this 2 power 3 likewise we have to write and then we have to multiply the weight with the corresponding bit so 2 power 5 into 1 plus we have to add all the values 2 power 4 into 0 so 0 into anything is nothing but 0 only next 1 into 2 power 3 1 into 2 power 2 next plus 0 into 2 power 1 0 into anything is nothing but 0 only plus 1 into 2 power 0. So 1 into 2 power 5 means 32. 1 into 2 power 3 means 8. 1 into 2 square means 4. Anything power 0 equal to 1. So 1 into 1 means 1. If we add all these values then we will get 45. So for this we have to write the program. Now let us see the program here. Here it is better to take n value uh, this number let us assume that input is n uh, we it is better to take n as long int why because we know the size of the integer the size of the integer is maximum we can have uh, some 64536 so beyond that it is not possible to store so that's why it is better to declare it as no long integer so that we can store some larger values so here we have uh, we, we need to have a variable called i uh, the initial value of the i is 1 every time we will do the incrementation so in the first iteration uh, so here this i is nothing but uh, here the uh, this weight value this weight value so we have to perform 2 power 0 so for that we will use pow function pow function is available in math.h so we must include math.h here so we can write the statement as POW of 2 comma this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are nothing but i values. So 2 comma i. So for that purpose we are using i. Uh, next sum is equal to the initial value of the sum is 0. We have to add all these values. So for that purpose we are using sum. Uh, next we are using a variable called reminder REM. So here what we are doing is every time here this is the binary number. So every time we have to get uh, the, uh, the bit. So in order to get the bit we are using a variable called REM. Uh, let us see the logic here. Here we have to repeat this procedure as long as n is greater than 0 or n is not equal to 0. So while n greater than 0. Uh, so here if you see here, here the logic is every time we have to get the last bit. We know how to get the last bit in order to get the last bit we have to perform modulo 10 operation. So remainder equal to n modulo 10. So if you see here, uh, 10 is the number. Uh, here, uh, uh, 101101, we are performing a modulo 10 operation. Uh, so here we will get 10110. So this is nothing but quotient. So if you multiply 10 with 10110, we will get 101100. If you do the subtraction, we will get 1. So this 1 is nothing but in the first iteration. This one is nothing but the remainder. So for that purpose we are using this statement. So every time we will get the last bit. So in the first iteration 1 is the last bit. In the second iteration this 0. 
in the third iteration this one likewise uh, next what we have to do uh, we have to perform this multiplication so 2 power 0 with 1 so for that purpose we are using this statement reminder into so what is reminder in the first iteration what is reminder 1 so this one is nothing but reminder so 1 into if you see the last one so 1 into POW of 2 comma i initially what is i value 0 so 2 power 0 is nothing but 1 so that means we are performing 1 into 2 power 0 and that result will be added to sum so 1 into 2 power 0 is nothing but 1 so that 1 will be added to sum so in the first iteration what is sum value 1 next operation on the last bit is over now we have to perform operation on this number we have to perform operation on this number so that's why in order to get all those bits uh, we have to perform n by 10 operation we have to change n value so the next statement is n equal to n by 10 so we know that division will always gives quotient so now we so now n will become 10110. Next i plus plus. So next what is weight value? 1. Next to 2 likewise. So we have to do the incrementation. So now i will become 1. So once again the body is executed. So once again the control goes to the y loop. While n greater than 0. So now what is n value? 10110. Yes condition is true. So now remainder equal to n modulo 10. So if you do the operation. So here 10, 10, 10, 0. Uh, so if you multiply with 10, 11, then we will get 10, 11, 0. So what is the remainder? 0 is the remainder. So sum equal to sum plus. So previously what is sum value? 1. So 1 plus remainder into. So now what is remainder value? 0, 0. So 0 into POW of 2 comma i. So 2 comma, what is i value? 1 so 2 power 1 means 2 so 2 2 power 1 so 2 power 1 so 2 power 1 means 2 so 2 into 0 means 0 so 0 plus 1 means 1 so after the second iteration also the sum value is 1 next what is weight value i equal to 2 so now i will become 2 let's see for one more iteration now i value is 2 so once again control will goes to the while loop condition will be evaluated so here we have one more statement what is the statement n equal to n by 10 so now what is n value 10 double 1 we know that division will always gives quotient so 10 double 1 so now what is i value in the next iteration i value will become 2 so once again control will goes to the while loop while n greater than 0 what is n 10 double 1 yes 10 double 1 is greater than 0 condition is true so remainder equal to n modulo 10 so if you do the operation then what is the remainder 1 is the remainder so next to sum equal to sum plus what is the previous value in sum 1 so 1 plus remainder into so now what is remainder value 1 so 1 into th this operation 1 into POW of 2 comma i so 2 comma what is a value 2 so 2 power 2 is nothing but 4 4 into 1 means 4 so that 4 will be added to 1 5 so next this this it will be added it will be 1 into 2 power 3 will be performed and it will be added to 5. So likewise if we do all the sums and uh, multiplications we will get 45 as the result. Uh, now let us see the program execution in the laptop. Let us see the program execution. Uh, here we have math.h. Why? Because we are using POW function. POW function is available in math.h. I will uh, share this uh, program in the first comment. I will ping that comment. So please refer the first comment. Next, n is declared as log integer value. Uh, next, we need i reminder and sum. The initial value of i is 0, sum is 0. Next, n is the input here. But for n, what is the format specifier? Percentage ld. L stands for long integer. So d stands for we know that decimal number. So this is the logic. So while n greater than 0, so first we have to get the last bit. So remainder equal to n modulo 10 and then multiply remainder by POW of 2 comma i and then that result will be added to sum. Next in order to get the next we need to perform operation on the uh, remaining bits. So for that we require uh, that uh, the remaining bits.
so for that the statement is n equal to n by 10 uh, and then uh, and then uh, i value will be incremented by 1 for for the next weight so whenever the condition is false then display the decimal number so here the decimal number is nothing but uh, uh, some value now let us run the program so let the number is 10 double 1 zero 01 is the number so we will get output as 45 so let us run the program one more time let the number is double one double zero so what is the decimal number so uh, zero means two power zero again zero means two power one so one means two power two one means two power three so eight plus four is nothing but twelve so twelve is the output so in this way we can convert uh, a binary number into the decimal number